Pete Buttigieg did something that the Black community has been railing against since the 80s and 90s. Many of you that were alive during that era might remember when gays came out, they came out strong comparing themselves to the struggles of the Black community. And that didn't go over too well. It took a long time and a lot of pushback from the Black community for them to finally get off of that mess. Well, Pete Buttigieg is now making the claim that because he's gay, he can relate with the Black struggle. You know, one thing I taught my son as homeschooling him is when people try to say we're all the same, all you got to do is look at the history of those two different groups that are trying to compare themselves. If the history don't look similar, then there are no similarities, plain and simple. We did not share the same path historically with gay people. And they couldn't go in the history and prove that at all. Gays did not go through Jim Crow reconstruction and gays are not being mass incarcerated. They didn't go through a crack epidemic. So no matter how much they claim that things are the same, I beg to differ. Just like those that say, Physically, we are all the same. No, when you look at the history between Black people and look at Black history, it is not the same. So therefore, we are not the same. You can disagree with me with, as you want, but you couldn't go into the history and prove that we were the same for the last 400 years. When you're able to do that, come see me. If you're not able to do that, go somewhere and sat down, okay? So many are offended by the latest thing that Pete Buttigieg has done. So he is openly saying that he can relate to the Black struggle because he is a gay man. But one thing he fails to realize, he is a white overprivileged man above even being gay. He can walk into a room right now, and if he doesn't open his mouth and people don't know who he is, he will experience the same white privileges that any one straight would get. Us as Black people, we don't get to come out as Black. We are Black. Period. You get to come out as gay and you can conveniently walk back to the straight side anytime you feel like it. We don't have that option. I can't wake up and choose to be an Asian woman today. So again, until you can go into the history record and show me how we have been the same historically for the last four centuries up in this bitch, don't come see me about nothing. You ain't got to straighten Lisa out about a damn thing. I know what I'm talking about. So Mayor Pete Booty Judge has delivered a provocative response in recent days to those who challenge his empathy with Black Americans. His experience as a gay man helps him relate to the struggles of African Americans, like hell it does. That has angered some African Americans. It definitely angers me because there ain't no way the two are the same. The struggles are not the same who view it as an attempt by a privileged white man, thank you for putting that in there because that's what he is, to claim a type of victimhood that is distinct from the Black experience in America, even while others take the comments more favorably. Well, I can tell you those that are taking his comments favorably are gay. I can tell you that right now. 
Oliver Davis, a Black council member in South Bend, Indiana, where Booty Judge is mayor. And by the way, Black people are disproportionately in high numbers are being convicted on marijuana charges in South Bend, Indiana, right now as we speak. If he empathizes so much with the Black community, how come he hasn't done anything about that, ladies and gentlemen? Where is his empathy when it comes down to that? Let me veer myself back onto this subject matter. Where poop, uh, Pete, <laughs> whew, let, me, let me just calm down because, man, I get worked up over this stuff and I know I need to calm down sometimes. Where Pete Buttigieg is mayor, said the African-American, unlike gay people, do not have the option of coming out. That's right. We don't get to come out as black. We are born black and we have to wear this skin throughout our entire life where you get the option of coming out. Or like I said, some of you have thrown in the towel and came back to the straight side. We don't have that option at all. Okay, so they, um, we as Black people, we don't have the option of coming out at our chosen moment, as did Buttigieg. Now, what Pete Buttigieg did, ladies and gentlemen, he ran for mayor. He did not reveal the fact that he was a gay man until after he ran and won the election. So when he was conveniently in office, he decided to reveal that he was gay. So that is living proof that no one is going to judge him as a white male in this society. It's proof in the way he ran for office. They saw him as nothing but a white male, period. So he didn't reveal that he was gay until after he was elected. So it's very clear. This man has enjoyed white privilege as long as he kept his mouth shut. Nobody was judging him or making his life miserable. No one hired a whole bunch of teachers to miseducate him. Cops are not stopping him because he's a gay man and shooting him unarmed because he's gay. Those things are not happening to people like Pete Buttigieg. When you see me, you would know I am African-American. This is Oliver Davis, the councilman talking from day one, said Davis, who has endorsed former of uh, Joe Biden. Well, you could have kept that part to yourself. When uh, someone is gay or lesbian, unless they tell or they are seen in certain situations, then no one's going to know that. They are able to build their resumes and build their careers. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. He's not being solely judged because he's gay. At the end of the day, he is still viewed as a white male in America. So, of course, LGBTQ activists beg to differ, and they're talking about the bigotry and violence, but I still beg to differ with you. You didn't face that for 400 goddamn years. So that's all they talk about in that part. So we, we, we need not go back and forth over this at all. It's not a fight in being Black and being part of the gay community. It is two different entities. You know, everybody want to ride the black coattail, in, including ladies and gentlemen, when I was growing up, I would even occasionally hear people in the women's movement 
trying to compare themselves to our plight. It is so convenient, isn't it? But one thing that rings true in the whole thing, when they want to compare themselves to us, they ununanimously know no one is treated worse up in this bitch than black people. You even got the immigrants coming here now, marching through the streets and quoting Dr. Martin Luther King. Everybody wants to latch on to our plight, don't they? At the end of the day, no one had it worse in America than the black community. I don't give a damn about what any of you other groups say. It is a non-issue, a non-argument, period. And I'm sick of it. And I, I know many of our other people out here are sick of these comparison. Oh, my pain is the same as yours. Your pain will never be the same as the black community. Never, never. So Pete Booty Judge. Just understand, when you make statements like this, you are going to anger many in the Black community. And it's showing that this is absolutely happening across the country with this particular comment. And ladies and gentlemen, one thing about these folks They are not bonded with the Black community at all. And then they try to blame us for it. And nothing that has happened to Black people on the grounds of discrimination, race, and even how we're dealt with by the cops is our own doing. None of it is. None of it is. We did not set up a society, put Black codes and slave codes. We are not uh, we didn't employ cops that are still acting like they're plantation police. We did not do none of it. And we're not taking responsibility for all your babble, negative babble on the black community. We're not taking any responsibility for that. So again, until you can show that your plight has lasted 400 years, and this bitch, I don't want to hear you. None of you, none of you immigrants, LGBTQ, and, and women's groups, me too. I don't want to hear from none of you motherfuckers. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.